to talk about it. Um, I did a video a good while back. Um, it's dealing with Kanye West and uh, China Mabeuf. And there was a brother who came to answer it. Well, he left a comment. And he said, look up Florida, I mean, Georgia Guidestones. And uh, I just typed it back to him and said, um, uh, and my daughter showed me that in 2007, you know. I think it was 2007 when she showed it to me. And I know it was a long time ago. So, it, for some reason, that just kept standing in my mind, right? So, um, I really don't know how I got to this. But, um, here's uh, R.C. Christian. You see? I see more in here than, I don't know what you see, but I see way more in here. But this guy was R.C. Christian. You know, like he's a Christian, you know. And so, of course, I did my study, my study, my study. Who knows where the fuck it went? It says, is this the face of R.C. Christian? And uh, I, I, I thought it was the face of uh, C. It says Franklin D. Roosevelt. That's who this face is. But yeah, it says, is this the face of R.C. Christian? Right? So, I'm going to go here. I, you know, I, I probably found it at different times, but anyway. It says here, um, a guy using the uh, fake name, you can use a small word, fake name R.C. Christian paid a granite company to build the Georgia Guidestones. When I thought of this, I thought of Granite Flats. It used to come on TV. It's about, you know, when they first started MK Ultra. Yeah. And that's all <clears throat> anyone really knows. But there are several theories I've heard of who is behind it. The last founder of the Resecution Order, some people say they're targeted by the Resecution, resecution the Rosicrucian, whatever, was named Christian Rose and whatever, uh, Christian Rose and Cross. Well, I found that to be with Alistair Crowley too, and Kinsey also. So, one idea is that the name R.C. Christian is a tribute to him and the Rosicrucians, and see, was that CIA built the stones conspiracy. Theorists usually say the rest of Crucians, CIA, the rows, see, the rows that are crossed, they are CIA, see the C, they are CIA, are part of the in New World Order along with the Illuminati and Freemasons. Some people say it's the Illuminati that's um, following them, them around, and some people say it's the Freemasons, and some people say it's um, the uh, Mormons. But they're all the same. I'm telling you, they're all the same. Man, I research. They're all the same. Here's a former Scientologist named Stephen Fishman claimed that L. Ron Hubbard and the Church of Scientology had the gold stones built. Hmm. By the way, Fishman also believed that in his past life, he was Jesus. Okay. Well, his name is Fishman. And if you knew that uh, Jesus meant just us, you know, the targets, the assets, just us, the real father, because he ejaculated into a stream of the sperm floated downstream in the Virgin Mary, okay. In some nutty article I found online once, the author thought that Tad Turner, and uh, Tad means dong, so to them, Ted Turner, he was just a piece of shit. And I think he was like a detective that went around and, and started, um, you know, snitching on everyone. And I found him with um, Kinsey also. He built the uh, Guidestones. Some people think that the Granite Company that was hired to build the Guidestones actually did it as a way of advertising themselves and made the R.C. Christian story up. Okay. So now someone says they made the R.C. Christian story up. Something else in here that was put in here that will make you um, 
like say oh this man doesn't have it all it's you know by the way fisherman was believed that in the past he was jesus real father you know so he is a fisherman you know but uh all of us is just us you know so you whatever that will actually take away from whatever else he was seeing but it doesn't take it away from me because I see this in a whole different view but I see Church of Scientology and L. Ron Hubbard is hooked to this man right here did you ever wonder why Scientologists are so comfortable with the competition oh no this is uh, moving up a lot higher this is what I wanted to show you too dealing with the Church of Scientologists uh, you know, like they are talking about the monarch program, where well, the monarch program is a Scientology type things too. You know, the monarch project program or the monarch project. Uh, when you research monarch, you'll see that the monarch, um, he can like reincarnate himself. When he comes back again, he knows it was here. You know, at least that's what they say. I don't know. I can never get into a, a butterfly in any animal's mind, so I don't know. This is sad about uh, the monarch butterfly, is that he remembers his past lives. That is where Scientology is also trained, uh, well, uh, told that they are supposed to be able to remember your past lives. I can't remember my past lives with no thanks to them, and I'm so glad they done fucked me up. But uh, there are many of us who can't remember our past lives. Um, there was a pink woman. She wrote a book. And she said she uh, can remember her past lives. And she talked about it. And uh, everyone ate that book up. But when melanated beings come and say, hey, I remember my past life. Wow. Especially, you know, another melanated being. Wow. To me, you guys are... The targeted individuals to me, you're just like Scientology. It's because I am not into what you're into, or you don't know what I know, so you shun me away too. You don't want to help me. Matter of fact, you, do, you guys don't want to help anyone. You don't even want to help yourself because you have all your fucking beliefs to stand in your way. That's why I gave away mine. I gave up mine. I gave up beliefs. I deleted the shit. That shit stood in the way of a lot of things. So I, I don't need that shit anymore. You know, I know about the monarch butterfly. And I know the Scientologist motherfuckers. They know and so do Illuminati. And I know that uh, the monarch, it actually reincarnates itself. But here, the earthlings on this planet... Um, do no longer can reincarnate themselves, but they incarnate. We do recycle ourselves over. This is not the first time you've been here. Maybe the flesh, but it's not the first time you have been here, and you are the ghost. What I'm looking at, what you can see about me, that is the host. You cannot see my ghost. That's why it's called the healthy ghost or someone. Turned it into the Holy Ghost. That's your host and your ghost. It lies inside it. And uh, if you... I, I don't know. I don't have a lot of knowledge that, you know, most Americans have. I don't have that knowledge. So, I have most of knowledge of me. And um, I know for a fact that we all have been here before. Not just me. You know, I'm, I'm nothing... Um, you know, like, I'm ordinary too. It's just that I know something you don't know. But uh, Scientology is supposed to bring this uh, out of the people. And I want to know how many of them know about their past lives. You know? How many? And if they go back into a past life, then they will have to tell how many that they have slaughtered. Because that's what they do. That's how come the the guy the the guy from the galaxies gathered them all up and put them somewhere in a volcano and then came with a H bomb you know and blew it up. 
You see, that is like because the maybe the guy of the galaxy, uh, he they didn't uh, they didn't deal with what he dealt with, and he didn't take them all, but they didn't deal with what he dealt with. So he just decided to take them away. That's what Scientology does with people, and to me, that's the way Christians do me too. You know, just leave me there because you don't know what I know. Or you know, I, I, you, you don't even deal with the words that come out of my mouth. Now, Elrond Hubbard and such wise that usually it is taken as a tremendous val validation and empowerment of the reader. So and so and so and so and so and so. Okay, I may not need this right now, but I did want to show you this and how Scientology goes into this but uh, I would like to see a percentage of those that have dealt with all those damn classes paid all that money and know any of their past lives now here in this one El Rahabit and RC Christian they show up again let me see if I can find this other one <coughs> And she talk up like, well, I couldn't find it. I mean, I probably could, but it would probably take me a while. But um, there was some writing saying that Elron Hubbard is R.C. Christian. Now here it says, is this the face of R.C. Christian, right? And somewhere in here it will say, um, doesn't he look like Elron Hubbard or some shit? See, but it's a, a bust... Purported to be Franklin D. Roosevelt in Alberton, Georgia. And uh, that's also where um, the Georgia guy stones are. In Georgia. I don't know what part of Georgia. Oh, and then it says the Tower of Babel. It almost certainly symbolizes a modern Tower of Babel. But anyways... As I say, I have found so many uh, um, articles that said, you know, someone believed this was him, this was him, you know. The first one actually was the one that said he was the ex-Scientology guy that does look like him. I mean, even the nose. The nose looks exactly like him. Here, they indented in more than one place. But here, there's only one. Even has the dent here and the dent here. Even has this and then the lines. This sculpture just seems to outline it deeper. You see? And uh, what made me think about that? I don't know how I got to the Georgia Stones. Someone just sent me something too, and said something about it. But um, then what was I going to say? Okay, they snatched it. Don't worry. I'm sure it will come back. But that is uh, what I wanted you to see. And uh, the reason that. Uh, Man, damn, they keep snatching it. Okay, so uh, the next picture, I don't know if I wanted to go here or not, but it says who? And then it says the rest of crucian. It's like chemical, but it's C-Y-M-I-C-A-L, wedding to the hierarchy. Now, there is a chemical wedding. It, oh, wow, I, I found that so long ago. Well, it's an actual chemical wedding. The Freemasons, need we say more, why not? The mysteries of R.C. Christian was, was L. Ron Hubbard. See, I know I found it. The mysteries R.C. Christian was L. Ron Hubbard. See, they have so many fucking secrets you will not know. But, uh, what's her name? Uh, damn, you've gone so far down the damn pole, I can't even remember your name. Carmel, you really lost because I really found out 
I really found out more than I ever imagined I would have known. You know, uh, and then, what, oh yeah, what made me think about uh, Scientology was when I found the... Uh, these things, the guidestones, and I found it. But when I actually went to see it, I went to see it when the brother said it. And I noticed that they added another stone to say 2014. Uh, and that's when uh, they stepped up also their uh, organized gang stalking. Now, uh, it, it said some things in there. You know, and uh, I thought, that sounds like Scientology. So I put the names together. Mm. And I get this. The Mysteries, R.C. Christian, was Elwin Hubbard. See, because they are actors. Wow. They are tricksters, too. See, they pull all kind of tricks on us. We don't even know it. That's why they gave us the thing and said, tricks are for kids. But since I never was a kid, I didn't need it. I may have tasted it a couple of times, but I don't eat tricks and didn't buy it for my children. My children may eat tricks. That's why they can be tricked. A small group of low Americans living outside Georgia who wish to remain anonymous forever. They wanted to remain anonymous forever, but they can't know. I'm sure I'm not the only one that found this information. All of the above are false. Hmm. All of the above are true or are liable to falsification. Hmm. Speculation as to who pay for the stones comes to the money, and that is reliability, reliable, reliably the 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 ethically they're trying to make me like I don't know these damn words. The ethically anonymous. Hmm. The correct answer is it is a damn shame that you can't enjoy such privacy. Well, it is the a small group of law Americans living outside Georgia who wish to remain anonymous. Who is right here? I don't give a damn what they say. Everything on here is true. Then say the correct answer is D. Yeah, they were a small group. They were in clear water. And they were going clear. And they need to clear the earth of so uh, many beings. And that's what this thing says. And that's what Elwell Hubbard was about. And if you do not join them. See, this, this little story he wrote about that alien and shit. If you really know the story. It also is. Uh, if you do not join them. Then they uh, have a way of getting rid of you. See, if you want to, is is although it says they have to get rid of so many people, actually, what it is, they need everyone to be with them. Everyone, everyone, everyone to be with them. If you reject them, even if you don't know who they are, or you can just meet them in the street, um, and uh, you reject them. And they will put you in the organized game stalking program. And I guess they, you know, they always deal with numbers and shit. And surprise, they have alphabets instead of fucking numbers. They uh, um, probably deal with numbers and knew how many that they could actually grab hold to and how many they couldn't. You know? I mean, some people are saying, this is some alien shit. <laughs> Yeah, he was talking about some alien shit too. But these are the same people. But on the page, it asked a question. Is this the face of R.C. Christian? See, and they change everything anyway. And, uh, you know me, I'm melanin, I don't pay attention to this shit. It's just some white man, a, a pink man, you know, need his face to be placed in stone. So everyone, you know, as long as the stone stands, no, and then, as long as the stone stands, you know, everyone will find out who he is one day or know who he is. 
This statue was completed March 22nd in 1980. And it's dealing with the, it says, funded the sinister Robert C. Christian. Now he is a Christian, he's also a robber. I wonder if his C will actually stand for Crowley. Uh, they all have to seem to get better than Crowley, and it seems like Elron Hubbard is winning. You know, he's beating out the Illuminati, he's beating out uh, the corrupt politicians because they all belong to him. You know, they all be known to Scientology. So, if Scientology is hooked to, um, see if I can find it here, decoding the Georgia milestone. No, someone wants to decode it and probably can. Now, when you read on here, it tells you uh, this, 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 and that, and everyone, everyone, everyone has put um, the Illuminati with it, they put the Rosicrucians with it, they put the Mormons with it, and now I find Scientology with it. And I also find Elra Hubbard to be uh, the robber the Christian robber and in a sense of a way he is because people who are Christians belong to Scientology it's just once they go up so high they leave uh, the Christian shit behind but they still are the same people oh Someone smeared chicken blood on it. I'm talking and reading at the same time. A large man with broad, square shoulders and a crushing hand shape, marked clamp, was born to work stone. Quick to smile with a useful face, clamp is friendly. Clamp is a friendly man whom children instinctively like. Mm. I don't understand why people would do something like this. Clem remarks as he cleaves off a piece of something taken along with it, a thin silver of underlying granite. Up until the last year or two, the worst thing they do is smear chicken blood everywhere. It's all more than a little surreal. But this, this they put this monument up there to tell us that they want to um, get they need to get rid of so many people and that is what Alistair Crow I mean that's what us around Hubbard he taught that to Scientology you know they had to they <clears throat> need to help to clear the earth same thing now the names are together mm. so I am going to uh, stop this and then I'm going to come back with something because I I'm just going to come back with something else. Shit talker. Love you, bro.